How's it going guys? I'm off limits the girl from Oz and welcome to a very special clip that I'm making for you guys on Middle Earth um, in my alliance. If anyone else has happened upon this, I hope this helps you out as well. It is a really good tutorial for those playing Kingdoms of Camelot, Arcane Empires and The Hobbit Middle Earth on your iPhone, iPad, all that sort of thing as well as um, Android phones. So yeah, I know it's really long and you're going to have to pause and probably write a few notes down all that sort of thing but yeah it's a really good tutorial if you want to know how to play the game so I'll put you on to off limits in the past with the main screen which um, in Middle Earth is this where you get to select either being a dwarf or an elf. Now with Kingdoms of Camelot and Arcane you don't have that sort of situation so don't worry about that too much but it's just a little bonus feature I guess you could say with the Middle Earth series. Um, I like to play as an elf and then you just confirm. I mean you can do whatever you want, you can be a dwarf or an elf, I don't think they have their perks or weaknesses it's something that is actually new to me so I have to look into it but at this present point in time I think it's just a novelty thing in the game. Now at the beginning of every uh, game you have this sort of introduction thing. I just skip through it all personally. Um, you just do the quests and build. So basically it's just their way of teaching you how to um, play the game. And I mean, it's pretty good. I, I think it's a good tutorial. There's nothing wrong with it. But for some reason, you know, it, it doesn't go into enough depth, I think, in how to play the game and where to lead you from there. Okay. So now we're researching. Now here it says uh, time is of the essence, um, that they encourage you to use the hourglass, which um, if you press speed up you can use here. I personally do not use any of the speed ups and I highly recommend this for you guys as well. This is the first, this is the beginning of um, my personal way of doing things. Uh, do not use your speed ups if you can on buildings. The only one that I would use, and I'll show you, claim. Yes, dear brother, go away. Yeah, let's open the chest. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So you go through all that crap and then it, it starts you off here. Now, where I was talking about with the speed ups and stuff, um, if you go to items and speed ups here, we can see them all here. The only ones that I ever use for building are the 8 hour, the 15 hour, and the 24 hour. Um, yes, there are buildings that go for more than you know 24 hours. Some can go up to like a week. Especially if you play Evany, some things take about 10 days, uh, depending on all your research and stuff. <clears throat> the reason for that is, is that you use these for instant attacks on your enemies in the future. So, yeah, if you can save as many of them as you can, I would not use them with buildings. I would keep them for the future when we start attacking some noobs. Yeah, we'll use the chance. Um, the chance is once every day you get to select this little button down here and you get to choose one of nine boxes and you get a random prize with them. Now, everyone has their own opinion of which chest is best to you know get lucky in because um, sometimes they can hold like a second city deed or heaps and heaps of resources or you know stuff like that um, but I always go to the top left and that seems to work for me and we got 20,000 iron, iron or ore um, so that's not too bad do I get to use that? no right um, so the first thing I start off with is I build six cottages or homes if you really want to follow that um, that's the total amount you'll need 
in this game is just six cottages. That's all I've ever played with. Well, back in the day I used to have a lot more than that because I was a noob, but now all you need is six. So let's start by doing that. I suppose this is your academy, this one up here. And if you go over to the research, then obviously this is all, you, all your research that you can do. Um, at the moment, obviously, I can't do some because either I have enough, not enough gold or I haven't researched enough things to get the other things or I haven't unlocked certain buildings and stuff like that. Um, so let's just take do one that takes forever. We need one Come on. Do one, build that, and then we'll build this up. Okay, so now we've done all that, so normally I just keep building little things like this around the place. Uh, we'll get to that later. But at the moment I just want to show you the menu and I just wanted to have something long on there that took a bit of time. Um, right, so let's start with the top left hand corner and this is where your name is. Your might is by the number of troops that you have, so certain troops have a certain amount of might. Um, so at the moment I don't have any troops so I have no might. Uh, the first thing I like to do normally is change my name because obviously what you want to do is get into an alliance and if you have if you ask for an alliance with a new user tag like this one up here that I've got at the moment you know it just makes you look like a noob because you don't know how to change your name so that's the first thing I like to change girl from Oz there we go, that'll do done and use. Now you get one free one, so don't change your name to like Butthole or I don't know, something stupid like that anyway because people just won't take you seriously. Right, the cities is the next thing and that again is in this menu up here, see how my name's changed now. Uh, cities, um, you can change your, the name of your city, I don't think changing the name of your city is a big deal, it doesn't really matter, but I normally just name mine off limits. Use. And then we go over here to World, and these are just different servers that you can go into. And so obviously there's like Dutch ones and English ones and Portuguese ones and Spanish ones, and yeah, all that sort of thing. And you just click Create if you want to go into another world, which we'll do later because I'll show you my um, more upgraded, upgraded place. Uh, right, choose a name, and so that's actually a quest as well. So that's a double bonus. <sighs> Sometimes it likes to have a shit fit. Where's the trick? Come on. So yeah, there, there was that menu there, if you guys didn't see it. We need to zoom out a bit. There we go, that's better, isn't it? So that, that was that menu up there, with all of my details and stuff. Uh, sometimes if the app refreshes, or, or I should say freezes, um, you can go into settings, is it settings? Question mark, here it is. And just force app refresh. And I'll show that to you guys later on. The, for tap joy. Um, the next thing is, well, I can't really show anything there, so let's move on. So this is the city one. So you, when you get a second city or a third one, all that sort of thing, you just select that and it'll take you off to the second city. At the moment it's encouraging me to buy it and all that sort of thing, but yeah, we're not doing that just yet. So that's um, a quick way of getting to here. As you can see, these are your resources. So we've got food, wood, stone, ore, and gold. Now if you actually click it like that, you can see the population, idle population, population limit, happiness tax, protection limit, and then you've got your food, wood, and all that sort of thing, and it actually says how much it produces per hour, so we're producing 440 food. Um, upkeep is every time you create troops, you have a certain amount of food upkeep to actually feed them, which makes sense, and then you've got 
the production of wood. Now the capacity is how much, so it'll produce ore up until 20,000 and then it will stop. It will stop. It won't produce any more until you use it. Now the production limit, well, let's start with the population, that's how many population people we have. Idle population is what you use your troops to build with. So, for example, just a really basic troop takes about four population. So, that's how many troops you can, if you divide that by four, that's how many troops you can build. And, yeah, um, population limit, that doesn't really matter. Um, the happiness and tax don't really do anything. Happiness doesn't do anything, whereas in Ebony, if you guys play that and not this, um, basically, if you attack a person's second city so much their happiness will go down and once it reaches zero then it's only another couple of attacks and they can actually take over your city. That's one thing that Ebony players will notice with this game is because people actually purchase the cities that um, you can't actually take them over so you need a second city as soon as possible. Um, and it, so the tax obviously increases your production of gold per hour so we'll actually change that. This is your keep over here, the big building where all the central stuff comes from. Um, so this is just, you know, the upgrade area. Here, overview, we'll change our tax rate to 20% is obvious, is what I find is a sweet spot. Um, so just keep it on that. Um, you have the option here also to hide all troops. Um, so all you have to do is to unhide them so then they're open to attack other people is just by turning that little button and saying off. Um, but obviously keep it on guys. God. Only until you like have a massive night and everything and it's fine. This is another area where you can see the production also as well. For your resources. Conquests are little wilds on the map which I'll show you now. And you can only own um, as many wilds as your keep level. So at the moment my keep is only a level 1, uh, so I can only own one valley. So this is world map, so sim we simply go from down here. So this is our city view, and then we've got our resource view where we have our farms and all this sort of thing. But I'll show you that to you later. And then we have world view. So is that as far as that? You can zoom in by going like that and zoom out, but it's not letting me do that at the moment. Don't know why. Um, so yeah, these are obviously mountains that you can occupy. You can occupy mountains, grasslands. I think that's a swamp or bog they call it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, these are plains. Now you need to attack a plain and conquer it to, for you to be able to build a second city. That's a requirement. Most people in early on in the game, they attack um, level one valleys. So let's um, see if we can find one. Because obviously. The higher the level, so these are levels, so these level 1, level 3, level 8, the higher the level, the more troops are there and the better research they have. Um, so you don't want to lose a whole lot of troops when you attack a plane to be able to build your city on. So people just attack level 1 ones. But I can't find one anywhere around me. Basically what these are, um, are picked camps or their um, rebel bases, I don't know what they call them, okay, I can't remember. Um, they all are the same thing, people. They're just NPC villages. Um, and yeah, I never ever attack them, not even for crests and stuff, and that's one point that I need to teach you guys, is do not attack them. There's no point, not unless you have a, like, a really mean knight over 150 level over 150. Um, but yeah. This is other people in the game like yourself. Um, if they have a bubble over them obviously they're still in beginner's protection. Mm. But if they don't like... This is a new server so I doubt there's many people that are out of BP yet. But yeah they just don't have a bubble basically. I still can't find. Oh, there's one there. Oh, it's unoccupied. I should really take that. But I'm not going to build a second city here. There's no point. Okay, so they're still building up. That's good. We'll move on to down here. 
where all these items are down here. Okay. So obviously items, this is where the shop is. Be careful, please be careful. If you have like the same items as what the shop has, like for example a gold like token and you want to use it now, um, please make sure you go my items, press my items and press use because otherwise if you have 80 mithril then you know or you have more than five me through and you press board then you're gonna buy it and then you're gonna kick yourself because you didn't need it. <sighs> I don't know how many times I've wasted so much me through or you know coins or whatever they call it in other worlds. Just, ugh. This is where you collect your quests obviously or you can find out quests to do if you're lost, you know, or you you don't know what to build. Just build something that's from in the quest. So the next thing we're gonna build is probably a barracks because I need to show you troops. Alliance, it won't let me build an embassy, well, any, I need to build an embassy before I can actually show you that to you guys, and plus I need to be a level 3, and at the moment I'm only a level 2. Mail is where you mail people, yada yada yada, um, and chance I've already shown you that. Now, you see this little bar here, just hold on that, and whoa, whoa, shit, oh my god, there's more stuff on this side, huh. Anyway, so here, oh god really need to upgrade. Here's just where you can go into barracks and then you can go into your academy from here. I find them pretty useless because you can just click on those and your barracks, so whatever. Rank is what I'll be referring to a lot. Um, I don't think I can see anyone because I have no... Um, or maybe because it's such a new server no one's up yet. That's probably what it is. Okay, so rank is um, other people around in the game, and basically what happens is normally you'd have a rank here from like one to however many people are in the game, so like thousands of them, and it just goes by the highest and lowest might per person, and then you've got obviously might gained and troops killed, which is what I go from guys, um, in my alliance they are probably watching this, hopefully. <laughs> um, I go by troops killed. Now, a good way of seeing if someone is inactive in the world is by going might gained and going current week and last week. Um, obviously, you just put in their name, so it might be but, and then you search them. But obviously, there's no one there by that name yet on the statistics. And if you search might gain last week, current week, then obviously, you know. If it's still zero, then obviously they're inactive, and you can also see by troops killed if they've been active. The killing people just go last week, current week, and Bob's your uncle. If it says zero, then you've got a pretty good chance that they're, you know, obviously not active anymore. And you just send, you just attack them with one troop to see if any of their troops are open or if they've got any wall defense. And then your second attack is just basically what nails them and screws them. Uh, settings now. Um, each time you start up a new game, use a different email address because if you sign up with Kabam, um, I need to cut that out. Right. Um, if you sign up with Kabam, you use a different email address, and then you can get I think it's 85 Mithril. Mithril is just something. Obviously, you purchase things in the store with and stuff. It doesn't give you special powers, I suppose. It could if you use, I don't know, something. Anyway, um, and so from that, you can get. I buy mine, I buy my second city, so I buy more me through to buy a second city. So if you click get me through, right now, wants to slow down. Here we go, you can't really see it on my screen, but. That's fine, you don't really need to. You get 50 Mithril for every $5.50 you spend. Um, and that's five fifty real dollars, okay, people. So you have to spend real money to get more Mithril. But I'll show you another option, which I could probably show you to you right now. Uh, yeah, let's... Just go to your web browser on your phone or your iPad or whatever and search Tapjoy. Just like that. Yeah, it's like that one. And then you just log in. Oh no, but you guys would be signing up, so sorry. Let's go back. And let's go typedoy.com. 
Oh, well, see, I've already logged in, you see. Um, so all you have to do is it goes to your main page and all you have to do is sign up with the email address that you use for that game. I cannot stress enough that it has to be the same so that it links. Um, and then it will bring up your little settings thing and you just have to approve it. Now, obviously here you can see the top ones that you probably earn on is um, Kingdom, um, Kingdoms of Camelot and Arcane Empires. If you play either of those games or all those games, all you have to do is press Earn. Earn, come on, why aren't you working for me? There we go. And here we go. So all you have to do is download these apps and all that simply um, encompasses is you go click Earn 3 Mil th me me Thrill and it'll take you to your app store and simply from there you just download it for free um, I don't want to download that on the sleeves, that's just gay um, we'll go back to Safari, so you just download it and then once it's downloaded you run it and then you go back into um, The Hobbit or whatever game you go back into, like Camelot or um, Kingdoms of Camelot. Right, so let's start building my barracks. We go build. Um, I normally download six things at a time, like six games or apps, I should say, at a time. Run them all and then go back into this game. And if I don't see that the Mithril has accumulated in the top right hand corner, then I just go that into my name. I go oops, the question mark, and then I just go a force app refresh, which just refreshes the app. Now if I actually downloaded that game, you would have seen in the top right hand corner that I would have gathered um, 83 meters through. Don't get me wrong guys, it's a lot of work to do and all that sort of thing, but honestly, you really need a second city. Oh, I've got many quests. Right. Is someone mowing that side? Right. Um, from there, where do we go from there? What I might do is get into my Kingdoms of Camelot. Yes, I play a lot of this crap. I've been playing it for a few years now. I'm going to make this an extra long tutorial. Now, this is a, my own personal one, and this is my most developed city, so. I could show you what I'm doing there. I'm, I actually don't play here very much anymore. Go away. No. Alright. So this is what my city looks like. It's all maxed out. And as you can see, I've only got six cottages and the rest of them barracks. Now, I've got this thing here called the Round Tower or it's called a spire or something like that. And basically that's to collect your relics and all that sort of thing with the crest and the picked camps. Do not build this building! I was sucked into building it and I don't know why the hell I built it because it's crap! It's seriously crap. Because um, I never ever attack these picked camp NPC villages places, they, this shithole here. I never ever ever attack them and there's no point in having them unless you attack them. Um, but that could have been another spot for my barracks. See, the more barracks that you build and the higher level they are, the faster your build time for each troop will be. I know that's not such a big deal early on, but trust me, you want to still pump out as many troops as you can. All that sort of thing, yada yada yada. And look at this guys. No wall defences. I cannot stress that enough. No wall defences, please. Um, so that's my city. So I don't know how many barracks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You should have 15 barracks in each city, basically, and then 6 cottages. Um, we'll go over to my second city. So there we go. And then there's this one. Now you'll probably notice that I'll have. Um, Oh, I've got too many cottages in this one, don't I? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I've got too many cottages in that one. I didn't, didn't even notice before. Oh well, I can change that later. 
Actually, I'm not do that now. Destroy. This. Now I had a drag and stomp all that thing that stomps your city automatically. So that's how come I could use it. And that, they'll come up a lot. Oh, that's why. So I've got a 5 million upkeep with food. So that's what I mean when you get a second city, you build it up as much as you can, preferably everything to level 5. The thing that you should be really upgrading is um, your storehouse or your vault or whatever, so then, you know, people can't take your resources because it's such a low level. Um, what I do in my first city, in, in initially I only build food and ore valleys in my first city, and then in my second city I build, what is it, stone and wood, and that's it. Because obviously there's no point in having food farms in this one because it's just going to be eaten straight away once you start reassigning your troops there. Um, I'll show you my troops. So there are my troops there. I don't really have that many because I was just in the wars a while ago, so and I haven't been rebuilding so I don't rebuild that often on this world anyway. And um, yeah, as you can see my large quantities, I only build troops with one stars and troops with four stars. And then I only build uh, three star or four star supply wagons and stuff like that. That should be everyone's layout for building troops. That's all you should be building is just heaps and heaps of them. Um, and you all might be thinking, oh, why is she building only Star Wars? They're crap. No, they're not. They're some of the best troops that you can actually get in this game. They are hugely powerful and can take huge waves of tier 4 troops. Because you just because they're so cheap to build and you can have so many of them, that you just use them as meat shields. And they're so easy to replace as well. So that's the reason why you should be building all of those types of troops. Um, from there, what happens later on in the game is because I only have six cottages, you want to actually um, destroy your valleys. And as you see, it's pretty, it's pretty bare in here. And you're wondering why I have one farm at level five is because you need that for a stable to build, um, which is, is it that one? Yeah, that one. You need that for a stable. I have no farms, and because of that, oh, just deconstructed, deconstructed. Yes, yes. Um, because of that, it will raise up my idle population because farms use idle population, so it's best to do that. Is eventually when you get to the stage of farming heaps of people out in the field. Now, there's really no need for you to have resource fields. Radio. So what's next? Ah, uh, night level. So here we go to the night hall. Um, obviously you got the details where you can upgrade from knights. This is my highest level knight is 164. Really, it's pretty weak. I needed to get higher, but yeah. And over here we've got positions. Now you can actually assign them to ranks or roles early on in the game, which is a good idea for, to assign your highest one whenever you can to um, increase the resource production of your city. When you're being attacked, please assign your highest level into this marshal, because if you upgrade your watchtower enough, you can see what level of knight they're actually sending, your enemy is sending you. Um, and if you've got a higher one and you've got more troops, then you're more likely to win. Also, when you get later on into the game, if you assign that just before you train troops. So, let's do that over here. So, I'm going to train... Twenty... Twenty... Twenty light cab. And it's going to take twenty-six seconds, as you can see there. Now, if I actually assign... Uh, my, even though this one's only a level 50, you'll see the difference. If I assign that and now train another 20, see it only takes 24 seconds. I know that doesn't seem like such a big deal, but when you get a higher level knight, it makes the training time a lot quicker by a, a few hours, honestly. Especially when you're going into building um, Star 4 troops, and I'll show you what they are. Um, so these are star 1 troops, as you can see, 1 star, star 2 troops, they're pretty crap. I wouldn't build them if I were you, only if you intend to be a might hugger, which basically you never attack. You should just, you know, build those. 
And on this game, it's Star 3 troops. So I call them Tier 3. I have to call them Star 3 because people don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. So now you do. So that's Tier 2 and Tier 3 because I'm sick of saying Star. So okay. Anyway, so that's that there. Um, I've got supply wagons in this city, in my city one, even though um, you don't hold troops there, so then you can gather heaps of food. Um, because I could just attack people with wagons. If you scout them, then they haven't been on for a while, that sort of thing. You can just attack them with 200 wagons, and that's what, like, what I like to do. Oh, friends. I have friends. Oh, that's another one. Um, if you collect, well, if you collect, if you press that button down there, when you're in Alliance, you can go to Alliance chat, and then there's Global chat. And my legs is open. Right, we're back. Um, I think that's all for the time being, guys. I don't know what else to show you. What else is in here? Watchtower, MOC, Knight's Hole, done all that. Showed you what troops to build. I think that's about all. But yeah, again. Oh, that's that's another thing. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> so this is my city here. Um, if you want to save someone's courts, like a really good farm, for example, um, let's go out here. All you have to do is say that one was a really good farm. Uh, click on the city itself, and that's what you use to attack and scout it. Um, and then you click the little book here, and it actually saves their cords, and you press save. And then to find their cords, you go into this. Now I've got a few bookmarks, obviously. Um, and it will take us to that city, whatever it was, I can't remember. That one? That one. Yeah, that one. So... Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it's best to edit the name, so then you can name it food or whatever. And yeah. So that's another thing. Hmm, what else? Obviously you want to go back to your city, you press that. Um, your mail. You probably shouldn't read any of those. Ooh, I've been attacked, that's lovely. Whatever. Now, um, I can't stress enough to you guys how you shouldn't worry about being attacked, just let it wash over you. If you get attacked, you know, and now they're still gold, then it's not such an issue. All you have to do, guys, is just hide your troops for goodness sake, and what's the other thing? Build up your storehouse as much as you can. Seriously, it's level 9. Because I've got mine maxed out, for example, and it protects 1.71 million of resources. So it's once it goes over that, that they can actually take your resources. So please just, and gold really is nothing. I mean, look at this. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to attack this guy, and with that, and let's attack him with a few thousand troops. 30 seconds. Oh, stuff it, I'll speed it up for you guys. Oh, that's the other thing I need to talk about is speed ups, that's right. Haha, <laughs> that's lucky. And then we go into the report, and look at that, 54 gold! Or 54,000. Look at all that food! I mean, it's, it's so easy, guys. It's really, really easy. Simple as that. Now, as you can see with that speed up attack, what I just did, if you find someone that's like, if we're in the wars and we're really aggressive, please do never, ever, 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 ever use your speed ups for, um, you know, your building and all that sort of thing. Because that, that's just going to go on forever. The only thing that I've used um, for speed ups for, like the later ones, is I've used the 8 hour, the 15 hour and the 24 hour for my building. That's the only ones that I've used because obviously attacking people doesn't take any longer than that normally. Um, I've used the 2 hours, 2 and a half hours and below as my um, speed up attacks and you can just see what it did then. So I could attack that guy with that knight and it only takes the same amount of time I'm not going to attack him because I haven't scouted him yet. I can take here we go. That night, those troops. And normally it would take 2 minutes 22, but if I could just, if I just, um, you know, use my speed ups, it'll do it within obviously, you know, a couple of seconds, depending on how long it takes for you to actually press the speed up button. 
Now as you see with this here, you can increase, if you've actually got these, you can win them all the time in um, chance like I do with this guy. Um, if you're planning on attacking a lot for 24 hours or, you know, some there's a couple there that um, are for 7 days. Um, which I think is stone skin and something else in this particular game. Um, yeah, it just protects the attack, or well, it protects the life of your troops by 20%, or um, it increases the attack. So it's really good if you're you found a massive ass wall that you want to take down. And yeah. Okay, so this is um, a friend of mine who is Captain Jack. Um, this is from his troops that he had, and these are level three. Um, troops that this guy has sent to him. Now what happened in this circumstance, obviously he wiped out most of his troops, like just his tier 1s and tier 2s, um, his tier 3s were obviously still, obviously still in survival. But then I reinforced him with a lot of my tier 1s which took out more of these guys tier 3 troops. And if we keep going along I still sent him more, like this is back in the day when I had, I had over 20 million might. And it was just basically all of um, tier ones, and just look, we're just totally caning this guy. Um, this is another attack from another fellow. On the same day, these are guys with, from the same alliance, um, and we're just totally poning them. And that's yeah. Uh, so there we have it, folks. Um, I hope that helped you out a lot. I know there's probably a few points that I missed out on and you're probably busting to give me some more questions or something. Down in the comment section below, just comment your questions and I will get back to you as soon as possible. It's best to contact me through there because, yeah, YouTube is my life basically. Um, like and favourite and subscribe and hello to all of you guys that play Middle Earth with me. Um, hopefully this will, you know, show you what kind of person I am, which is hopefully helpful. I don't know. I'm not such a bad person. Yeah. Take it easy guys, and to my other faithful subscribers, yeah, I'll catch you again soon. Bye!